Okay, let me make this video. <coughs> Time and date of recording video. Need to remove about 25 characters because the description has a limit of 5,000 characters anyway. <clears throat> so I wrote this on the 27th. I don't belong here. I am an immortal being having a temporary materialistic experience. All I know is that I don't belong here. This is as clear as day. I don't belong here. I am in the world, but not, but not of the world. I think that's a biblical quote. Be in the world, but not of the world. Uh, this is just like, okay, uh, some time passed and I came back. <laughs> I don't have to stay here. I can leave whenever I want. But I am here for a reason. Perhaps to make the world a better place. Uh, through my research, through watching videos from various channels, intention is very important. I am here because I intend to be here. The brain manages the body. That's all, that's all it does. The brain manages the body. But your soul, your consciousness is not the brain. The, the experiencer is not the brain. I think the... Um, I think it's more and more like the DNA. Uh, I've seen some videos where it's sort of from sort of this is idea that the DNA is a device that's used through it's like a communication. It's like for the soul to experience material material reality, the DNA is a means of the technology that allows the, it's an interface between the spiritual and the material realm i think that's an idea that's i think i let's keep that in mind i think you need the brain for, to have a functional body but you but the brain uh, because i think there are other aliens who have a brain and a body but they don't have a soul they don't, they don't, they're not like us. They don't feel emotions. So, um, so there's this idea that there are some species and maybe some type of grays, not all. They are like biological beings. They are functional, but they don't feel emotions. And, and, and so they're different from us. Um, I don't know about you. But this is something I feel I know in a very clear way. I do not belong to this materialistic illusion. Because every single... If you think about matter, you think about molecules, atoms, electrons, they're, they're all made up of electrons and even electrons there are particles underneath that and then there's this idea that everything is uh, frequency it's it's always in some kind of a movement or something but the so you know we're made up of all these little things um I think some of these UFOs can pass through matter because I think they're vibrating at a different frequency. So there's all these densities that are on top of like where we are. There are probably 12 densities where there's the material density which vibrates. All the electrons vibrate at a slow frequency. <laughs> And as you go higher up in the density, the vibration of the matter is faster. 
so then so some of these aliens they 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 exist in let's say 5d means all of their molecules or all of their electrons or whatever it's vibrating faster than us so we can't see them i think there might be some technology to see them but we can't see them and um you know they can probably uh pass through us because they 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 about their vibration is different i think our souls exist in this higher dimension but our bodies but but our souls are attached uh through the technology of dna and they they're experiencing this material world i am an immortal being i soul i exist out of oh outside of space and time i am part of this greater whole even though i am an individual i and the source are one or i and god are one because we are fractal we are made of the same stuff fundamentally i think we only seem different even though we are one and the same i don't belong here this is an idea <laughs> that's a feeling but i am here and i will stay and do that for which i came share these messages share the message information is very important to our liberation as humans anyway bring hope to the world we don't have to be afraid for we are not of this world we are not bound to this materialistic illusion we are free unbound to explore a lot of my inspiration comes from watching videos on this channel as my channel and the ufo phenomenon and uh learning about the ufo phenomenon because i think the ufo's are not just physical objects you know john lennon saw a ufo there are videos on youtube you can search he he's so many people have seen ufo's physical things so that's there that's like a that's real that's a real thing but there's also a psychological spiritual consciousness dimension to the ufo phenomenon and i think it has to do with all these different levels of reality that are folded folded on to each other it has to do with time i think time is created by the sun uh stars create time i think it has something to do with gravity uh, there is a cosy rev cosy revs mirrors i think he he did these experiments where he could he was capturing time or something um anyway <sighs> we are not slaves we are people but ultimately we are immortal beings having a temporary illusory materialistic experience the eye is immortal but the body is temporary oh that i don't know how to say this and i feel embarrassed to say it almost as if it's wrong of me to say it but i've always felt like royalty <laughs> and like my my mom used to used to tell me what you think you're a big you're a royalty why is <laughs> and i'm learning from watching other videos that that, that same idea that we are royalty it, it comes across as other people who have had contact with ETs are saying yes we humans are royalty and like special and that it's beneath of me to serve others now this is I, i wouldn't agree with this i think what i would rephrase that is um i am Uh, this is an edit so i guess i have to edit i plan i am here to uh love <laughs> love all love all of creation uh, yeah i i i don't agree with that it's i guess the service it's more like i don't i'm not here to be a slave I guess that's the better thing. Like I'm not here to be a slave to the system. I'm not here to you know be in chains and just to serving the system of uh, oppression. Anyway, 
Which is why I feel like we live in a prison planet. Oh, here we go. In a system of slavery. I've always felt special. I've always felt this way. I didn't even know about it. I didn't even know it. I think people are intimidated by me because they can see how special I think I am. Not only think, but act and behave. Now, I exude the sense of being special and this is in... And this... is intimidating to people some people perhaps more people i don't know look at i sound like i'm so full of myself over here but um it's, it's uh, let me just keep on where did this sense of feeling special come from from a past life experience or memory i've always felt this way it is who i am it is my nature i am special i don't know why i just feel it and know it you cannot fake this feeling of this feeling that you're special. I can fake being insignificant and may feel like it sometimes. But that's not who I am. I am special, significant, exceedingly important. I know this. Okay, some people can l listen, l you know, think, oh, I'm so full of myself. No, I'm just saying you are important. The world wants to say you're not. And... To me, the idea that, you know, it's just like um, if someone tries to, like, talk, talk down to you, if someone is, like, looking down on you or talking down to you, you feel offended, right? Why do you feel offended? Well, I feel offended. Why do you feel offended with some, if someone tries to act like they're better than you? Why Why do you feel that way? Because you know yeah, you're important. The reason you feel offended by people who think they're better than you is because you know you're, uh, they're not better than you. <laughs> you're not, you're not. And some of these aliens, right, they want, they, they want us to think that we're like less than them because they have technology and they've got, I don't know, some psychic abilities and stuff. And they want us to think that we are less than them. And, and, and this is how they control you. Not only do this, humans do this. Some humans want you to think that you're, like they're better than you. you know, this idea that, so, but, but, you, but you know you're not, uh, but uh, no. They, th that's what I'm trying to express here. You know, you know, you're not better than me. You're not better than me. Uh, but, but I have to admit, I have been uh, conditioned uh, growing up to believe that other people were better than me. So um, I have been subjected to this conditioning. So I guess, well, I guess what I'm saying is, at the end of the day, no, you're not better than me. I am important. I'm royalty. I am special. I'm important. I think that's what you need to... It's, it's, about, it's about knowing that... You're an important being because you are in a, you're a soul. You know, it's not about like what you are in society. It's not about what position you have or anything. It's a, you're important because you're a soul. You have you're a a fractal of create you know of God. I think of it that way. That's why you're important because you can feel. You can feel emotions. You can feel profound experience. Uh, from what I've been able to tell through my research, uh, I need to learn how to be sovereign and free. I need to learn how to be a free human being. I'm still looking or I'm in the habit of for someone to tell me what to do, perhaps even save me. There is no savior. Human beings are intrinsically free because they have a soul, which is in a sense fractal. Oh, this is a fractal of source consciousness. There we go. I'll get that one. Fractal of source consciousness of the ultimate creator. And, oh, the ultimate crea creator and reality of all that is God, if you will. Ah. Uh, Which is a uh, uh, source, source consciousness, the ultimate career. Okay, we have intrinsic freedom. We just need to learn how to exercise this. 
society thinks wants to tell you you don't have free will you're just a machine with the body is a machine i will admit that the body the brain the body that's a machine it's a machine it, but you are you're free because you are the being that created the universe is the same being that animates this body god is experiencing all of reality through us we we and god are one and the same we have and how did god create the universe god created the universe because god wanted to god intended it i am here because i intended to be here uh, it took me billions of years to arrive okay i guess <laughs> i can accept that but 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 at some point beyond time i had a thought the thought that i want to be here and then i had the thought of wanting to be here and then it took me billions of years to show up but i had a thought when when there is no beyond space time i thought oh i want to be here and then yeah here i am i showed up <laughs> it took me billions of years but i showed up um <sighs> we have intrinsic freedom we just need to learn to exercise this society has conditioned us to be slaves or to think like slaves by design it's intentional we need to break free from these chains and be who we are the phrase no time sells when and i would add to the in some of the videos I show it's like this idea of knowing yourself self knowledge is so important too or self be true seems up here this is a good video and this is another good channel I would recommend I'm learning a lot from watching this channel over here it's very good there is a battle between fear and love you have free will it is your choice this is important I am I I have there are phases of my life where fear dominates. You know, fear is this idea of control, limitation, like getting smaller. My soul is getting crushed through fear. The opposite of that, of that is love. I'm, I'm expanding outward. I'm reaching out. There's faith, hope, love. But the greatest of these is love. <laughs> I think that's in Corinthians. So these are like two op opposites. We are immortal beings that are attached to temporary bodies. Where do you go when you sleep? Yeah, where, what happens to us? I think, I think what happened, this is my speculation, I think what happens is because our souls vibrate at a very high frequency, when, when, we, when we are conscious, the soul attaches to the body, but, but the, the, the experience of being conscious in this material realm, I think it, it's so draining that the soul has to sort of detach itself for a bit so we we sleep because the soul finds it so exhausting to be in because it's very dense being human is not easy it's very difficult it's a huge challenge being in 3d is very very difficult um learn to be free sovereign connect with yourself you are free sovereign uh, I am here because I want to be here. I chose to be here in this life, in this time, in this place. You are here for the same. We co-create reality. We are here because we want to be here. Intention is everything. Again, uh, I'm watching this now. Intention. There are lots of videos. Uh, you know. uh, God created the universe. You and I are fractal of God. We created the universe. We create our realities, both individual and collective. I create my reality. What I want to create, I intend it. This is how life came into being. Reality <coughs> came into being because I intended. God created the universe. I am a fractal of God. I created and create the universe into which I now exist. This does not make me any better than any other human being any other being we are all one and the same we are part of creator source consciousness we are part of that supreme flow of life the life force the breath of life that permeates all of existence this body is a means to experience this 3d reality which is something i do because i intend it i am here because i chose to be here and i want to be here i need to remember that 
it's important not to get lost attached to this reality mistaking it to be real or the most important it's only temporary a passing illusion it's important to think about these things it's a good perspective to have it sets you free from this mental enslavement the world wants to put you on you i create all the love that i give i intend to love i love and love flows out through me into the universe fulfilling all promises through all time i love because i am free to love it's my choice yeah. yes love is very important uh, i i am struggling i struggle between fear and love it's a huge struggle for me you know it's a huge struggle love wants to open you know open it you want to open yourself to the universe to the universe and not just people but the whole universe all of creation you want to you want to you want the the love of god to f because god is love you you want to you want that energy to flow through you but if you fear you're like you stop the energy from flowing you hold it inside and you become depressed and angry and lonely and, and you know so you have to let the energy of love flow through you and out into the universe so if you live like that it doesn't matter where you are you know if you're, in a, if you're not like in a horribly horrible situation like tortured or something but if you're just you know in a, in a relatively normal state if you your life can be different uh, you know, Earth is a planet, I believe. There's a lot of extraterrestrials, a lot of other forms of life. And they're, it's not a happy planet. There's a lot of horror in nature. There's a lot of suffering in nature. So, But it exists because there's beings, there are beings who are negative <laughs> who want to control and who don't have a lot of emotions so they they have no problems creating pain and misery because i don't think they feel anything like we do or or, or, or they're just like fear-based service to self domination control so there is this conflict between them. Uh, it's you know it's not a happy planet but i think there's this idea that they're going to shift this is in the christianity 2000 years ago okay they were telling the same thing the new heavens and the new earth this idea is not new this is a old idea people there's a this idea that we want to move to a different place because we recognize that things aren't really that good here these are some of the things i'm thinking about yeah, I mean, it's like five to, um, I think I need to, hmm, yeah, I need to get rid of 35 characters. I mean, I'm just sort of repeating the same thing, I guess, uh, I guess I will just remove this, all right, that should be right. <laughs> Oh. Mm -hmm.